InterSwitch SPAC is an InterSwitch Switch a Future initiative. When we least expect it, life sets us a challenge to test our courage and willingness to change. At such a moment, there is no point in pretending that nothing has happened or in saying that we are not yet ready. The challenge will not wait. Life does not look back. So, are you ready to take up the challenge? Welcome, Welcome to, to the Interswitch Inter Spark Africa, Africa STEM Challenge. challenge brought, brought to you by Interswitch. Transaction Solutions you can depend on. In 2018, InterSwitch Spark was launched in Nigeria, and with the immense success that was recorded from the very first season, we had InterSwitch Spark 2.0, which you will all agree with me was a riveting experience. In 2019, another great step was taken in launching InterSwitch Spark Kenya. Faith, how was that for you? Oh wow, Hero, that was such an incredible experience for me. I had watched episodes of InterSwitch Spark Nigeria on YouTube and I really wished that something like that could be done in Kenya. So when it finally happened, I was so delighted, not only for myself, but also for the future of Kenya. We ended up having our winners and it was very inspiring also just listening to the aspirations that these students have, even despite their ages. They fought very well till the final. But Hero, the fight is not yet over. That is true. Today we'll be witnessing the battle of all battles between Industry Spark Nigeria students and Industry Spark Kenya students. It is the Industry Spark Africa STEM Challenge. This is an initiative that is geared towards team spirit, also towards Pan African learning and interactions among the participants of Industry Spark Science Competition. In the Africa Challenge, the first, second, and third place winners of both Industry Spark Nigeria and Kenya were placed into three teams. Now, each team will consist of one Nigerian and one Kenyan. These three teams will now compete for the prestigious title of the Best Africa STEM Challenge Champions. They must be able to work together irrespective of the country they come from. It's about that time, don't you think so? I, I, I totally <laughs> agree with you. And as a perfect gentleman, I'll do you the honors. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, can we please give a round of applause for Faith? Thank you. As she takes the podium. Good life is whatever you want it to be. Excuse me, can I get another one to take away, please? Thank you. Choose Verve for the good life. This is InterSwitch Spark Africa STEM Challenge. We are glad that you are watching. And I would like to welcome the founder and managing director of InterSwitch Group, Mr. Mitchell Elegbe for the opening address. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, last week we saw winners emerge from Industry Spark 1.0 in Kenya. Same last week we saw winners emerge from Industry Spark 2.0 from Nigeria. Interstitial praise not only in Nigeria, but also in other parts of Africa, including Kenya. And one of the things I have noticed is the quality of outcomes when Team Nigeria and Team Kenya come together to solve challenges. We do hope that tonight you will see that there's serious power in collaboration across different cultures and across different geographies. Thank you and enjoy. 
is the InterSwitch Spark Africa STEM Challenge. Our contestants have been grouped into three. In Team Pascal, we have Oyinda Mola and Ashley. In Group Edison, we have Toby and Norbert. And in Group Newton, we have Jemima from Kenya and Onyekachi from Nigeria. <laughs> Jemima, have you gotten to know Onyekachi? Yeah. What do you know about him? One of his hobbies is playing football. All right. All the best to Team Newton. Ashley and Oyinda Molai, you are in Team Pascal. Ashley, yes. can you pronounce his name? Yes, but without the accent. <laughs> Just give it a try. Oyinda <laughs> Molai. How did she do? She tried. Toby, how do you find the pairing? Meeting the soul outside the country is quite interesting. We're really, really grateful to have you here on the show. This is the Africa STEM Challenge. All the best of luck. A twist in this competition is that your foundation round scores will be carried over to the advanced round. And also, at the end of the foundation round, you all proceed to the advanced round. This is the InterSwitch Spark Africa STEM Challenge foundation round question one. Which of the following numbers gives 240 when added to its own square? Is it 15? 18, 12, or 16? Which of the following gives 240 when added to its square? The correct answer is option A. Only Nobots didn't get it right, but it's teamwork. Let's see how this goes. Question two. The following are major air pollutants, except A, oxides of hydrogen, B, oxides of carbon, C, oxides of nitrogen, or D, oxides of sulfur. Oxides of hydrogen, that is the correct answer. Question three, which compound is represented by letter A in the image shown? Is it H2SO3, H2S, HSO4, or H2SO4? This is the result. Question four, evaluate a to the power of three multiplied by a to the power of two multiplied by a to the power of negative five. Is it eight, 64, zero, or one? D is the correct answer. Question five, which of the following is not a vector quantity? Power, weight, acceleration or velocity which is not a vector quantity Toby which is not a vector quantity among these ones power power it is that is the correct answer question 6 in the image shown the oxygen given off during the process is derived from water chlorophyll Carbon dioxide or the atmosphere? Where is oxygen derived from? That brings us to the halfway point of the foundation round of InterSwitch Spark Africa STEM Challenge. We'll be right back with more action. Be not afraid of greatness. Some are born great, some achieve greatness, and others have greatness thrust upon them. William Shakespeare. Registration for InterSwitch Spark Kenya 2.0 Science competition is on and closes on Sunday, 10th May 2020 ahead of the national qualifying test on Saturday, 16th May 2020. To switch a future, visit www.interswitchspark.com and register your best 6.3 students for a chance to win 2.5 million Kenya shillings worth of university scholarships including monthly stipends and the bragging right as the best STEM student on InterSwitch Spark Kenya 2.0 Science Competition. Powered by InterSwitch, transaction solutions you can depend on. So far, I'm having such a good time interacting with the teams which have one Kenyan, one Nigerian each and this is the foundation round. Here comes question seven. 
Rhizopus obtains its food from dead organic matter extracellularly, so it's said to be A. A commensal, B. A saprophyte, C. An autotroph, or D. A holophyte. The correct answer is option B. A saprophyte. Question 8. Which of the following is commonly used as nuclear fuel? Is it mercury, palladium, uranium, or actinium? which is commonly used as a nuclear fuel. The correct answer is option C, uranium. Question nine out of 12 in the foundation round. Which type of wave is shown in the image? Is it a longitudinal wave, a compression, transverse wave, or seismic wave? What type of wave is shown? That is a transverse wave. Okay, let's move on. Question 10. The possession of which of the following is not peculiar to class insecta? A, two pairs of antennae, B, three pairs of legs, C, exoskeleton, or D, segmented body? The correct answer is option A. Question 11 of the foundation round, which means only two questions to go. And remember, all of you will be proceeding to the advanced round. However, your points will be carried over, so they really matter. Question 11. What is the area of the trapezoid? Is it 44 centimeters squared? Is it 140 squared centimeters, 120 squared centimeters, or 200 squared centimeters? What is the area of the trapezoid? The 15 seconds are up. The correct answer is C, 120 centimeters squared. Well, to our contestants and our teams, that's Team Edison, Team Newton, and Team Pascal, this is question 12 of the foundation round. What quantity of heat is produced by a heater rated 100 volts, 100 ohms in 10 seconds? Is it 10 joules, 100 joules, 1,000 joules or 10,000 joules? Well, correct answer is option C, 1,000 joules. We have now come to the end of the foundation round. However, all the contestants will proceed to the advanced round. Before we proceed, let's just find out what are the total points and average response times for each team. Oinda Mola from Team Pascal. Your average response time is six seconds and uh, your total points was 85. Your teammate also had 85 points. It seems you're really at par and with the average response time of six seconds. From Team Edison, Norbert had 65 total points. Toby had 120 total points. From Team Newton, Onyeka Chi had 95 points and Jemima had 50 points. Such good teamwork we are seeing here at the Interswitch Spark Africa STEM Challenge. This is now the advanced round. In the advanced round, you'll have an opportunity to pick out subject areas and then you will have 10 questions in total pulled for you. Before we get there, we need to take a turn. Our take a turn question for today is a code. Here is the code 46837794824. And to be able to solve this code, you need the hint, which is transaction solutions you can depend on. I can see this was very fast for them. When Yekachi was the first one, Jemima was the third one, Ashley. Then we had Toby, Onyinda Mola, and Norbert. We're now moving on to the advanced level. Setting us off is Onyekachi from Team Newton. My name is Manmei Yekachi, I'm ready to spark. Now is your time to spark. What is the chemical formula for representing sun? The application of protective zinc coating to steel or iron to prevent rusting is termed as. In the study of gases, the equation PV over T equals K is known as. ID gas law. The concentration of a solution in grams per dm cube is termed as. Calculate the surface area of a cube with a length of 3 centimeters. 54. Given that x equals 1, evaluate x to the power of 2 minus 2x plus 1. The perimeter of a rectangle is 60 centimeters. If its length is 20 centimeters, Ten. find its width. Convert 0 0.94 liters to milliliters. 9,400. 9, find the equivalent resistance of 1 ohm, 2 ohm, and 4 ohm resistors Three. connected in series. Three. 
That's it for Onyekachi. Give it up to him. Next up in taking the 10 questions in 45 seconds, we have Ashley. My name is Ashley and I'm ready to spark. Ashley, now is your time to spark. In and around which desert do the Bushmen live? Kalahari. The use of transistors is associated with what generation Pass. of computers? Coal, coke and chocolate are all anthropic forms of which element? Which oxide of carbon is poisonous? Zero. Treponosinimiasis is associated with which pathogen? Pass. Which eye defect makes people to see close objects Myopia. clearly but not distant objects? What refers to the internal friction between layers of a liquid or gas in motion? Viscous, viscosity. What does the slope of a displacement time graph represent? Speed. Velocity. Who was the first African woman to win the Nobel Wangari Peace Prize? Masai. The headquarters of Africa Union is located in which country? Pass. The use of transistors is associated with Pass. what generation's computers? Trepanosomiasis is associated with it pathogen. Proto protozoa. That's it for Ashley. Please give it up for her. <laughs> Jemima from Team Newton, are you ready? My name is Jemima Cheng and I'm ready to spark. Jemima, now is your time to spark. Tapeworms, tinier species, belong to which phylum in the Filam. animal kingdom? Phylum. Uh, the nerves which arise from the brain are called? Pass. What is the SI unit Filam's of molar mass? What acid is formed when CO2 dissolves uh, in water? Carbonic acid. In what continent is Swaziland located? Africa. Lake Volta is located Africa. in which African country? Simplify the root of 150. Pass. Given that 3x plus 5x equals minus 8, find the value of x minus 1. Negative 2. If x equals minus 1 and y equals 10, what is x to the power of 3 multiplied by y to the power of 2? A hole has 25 rows of seats with 20 seats in each row. How many seats are there in total? Tapeworms, tinea species, belong to which phylum in the animal kingdom? Phylum. Mm. Pass. And now from Team Edison, Toby. My name is Toby and I'm ready to spark. Toby? Now is your time to spark. Which allotrope of oxygen protects Ozone. the earth from excessive UV? What group does Baron belong to on the periodic table? Group 3. The emergency hormone released by the body in times of danger is called which blood vessel carries oxygenated blood to the kidney? Rena Archer. Evaluate y equals 2x to the power of 3 when x equals 2. 16. The angles of a triangle are 2x, 3x, and 5x. Find the value of 2x. That's 6. Which abiotic factor determines the depth of light penetration in a pond? WDT. The center of intelligence of the brain is called? Cerebrum. What color of visible light has the lowest energy? Ultraviolet. The ratio of stress to strain Young in an elastic lose. material, what color of visible light has the lowest energy? Red. That is it for Toby. Give it up for him. Oyinda Mola, I really like your smile. Keep Thank it going, you. right? My name is Oyinda Mola Aji and I'm ready to spark. Now is your time to spark. What term describes a reaction that occurs in both forward and backward directions? Um, reversible reaction. W is the chemical Tongue symbol skin. representing what name is given to all it available places on earth to support bio. life. A plant which grows on another plant without causing harm to the host plant is called the shedding off of old skeleton by organisms such as cockroaches. Exfoliation. In man, which organ converts excess amino acid into Omniva. urea? Find the frequency of a spring which makes 60 revolutions in 15 seconds. Oh my god. Four. Hertz. What is the kinetic energy of a runner of mass 20 kilograms moving at a velocity of 5 meters per 250 second? 250 joules. Which country is the newest in Africa? Swaziland. Freetown is the largest city in which African country? Um, South Africa. A plant which grows on another plant without causing harm to the host plant is called? Christ. Oh. Nobat, are you ready? My name is Nobat and I'm ready to spark. No, but now is your time to spark. In the SI system of measurements, what is the unit of capacitance? Farad. What is the Earth's primary source Sun. of energy? Calculate the momentum of a body of mass 3 kilograms moving with a velocity. Find the potential energy of a 5 kilogram ball at 12 meters above the ground. 600. The current chairman of Africa Union is the president of which African Pass. country? And an un unprocessed information is termed as? Pass. What is the value of cos x if x if sine x equals 3 over 3. 5? Pass. Solve for y if 9 minus 2y equals 5. 2. 
The currency of South Africa is? Rand. Who invented the telephone? Graham Bell. The current chairman of African Pass. Union is? And unprocessed information is termed as? Pass. What is the value of cos x? Eight. Two over five. That's it for Norbert. Give it up to him. What is the good life? The good life is every day of your life. It's every day you choose to live with heart. Every day you choose to live in the moment. Some find it in living for others. Others find it in the quiet of solitude. You may find it in the adventure of discovery or in the gratification that comes with enjoying the promise of tomorrow. Some find it in the joy that comes with giving. Others find it in the confidence that comes with self-love. Whatever your idea of the good life may be, you can live it to the fullest with your Verve card. Choose Verve for the good life. Welcome back. It is still in Switch Pack Africa STEM Challenge, the very first of its kind to do us the honor of prize presentation. I would like to invite the founder and the group managing director of InterSwitch Group in the person of Mr. Mitchell Elibri. It was a very stiff battle amongst Team Edison, Pascal, and Newton, but we can only have one winner. In Team Newton, Onyekachi scored a total of 255 points. Please a round of applause for Onyekachi. <laughs> While Jemima scored a total of 170 points. A round of applause for Jemima. <laughs> On Team Pasco, Ashley scored a total of 205 points. While Damola scored 205 points also. I personally think that is team spirit. <laughs> Toby had 320 points while Norbert had 205 points. And both of them scored 525 points. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the winner of the Industry Stack Africa STEM Challenge, Tim Edison. Congratulations, sir. Huh? Thank you. And this is for you? Congratulations. Please, one more time, let's appreciate our winners. It's still Industry Spark Africa STEM Challenge, and we have our winner. Congratulations to Team Edison. Please, can we give them a round of applause? We'd like to say a big thank you to our sponsor, InterSwitch Group, for promoting and supporting the growth of science and technology in Africa. You also cannot forget the other stakeholders who have made this journey a success. And of course, to you viewers at home, thank you for staying connected to us till this very end. It's been quite a good journey, you know, nine preliminaries. Three semi-finals. The finals of both Interswitch Spark Nigeria and Interswitch Spark Kenya. And finally, the Interswitch Spark Africa STEM Challenge. It has been quite a delight. I've been your host, Faith Miner. And my name is Hero Daniels. Till next time, it's bye for now.
InterSwitch SPAC is an InterSwitch Switch a Future initiative.